Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make these no heat mermaid curls and I usually do these before bed. So you want your hair to be slightly damp and then part it to whichever side that you like or you can part it down the middle and then in the back of your head you're also going to split it down the middle and you are going to take these to either side of your head. Basically how we're going to do this is we're going to do two Dutch braids. Um, so if you don't know the Dutch braid is the opposite of a French braid. So what I'm doing here is I'm separating Separating my hair into three strands and then instead of folding it under or sorry instead of folding it over like in a French braid you're gonna fold it under um, so basically that's what I'm doing here so I'm going under and then I'm gonna take the front piece I'm gonna add some to the hair and then I'm gonna go under and then I get gonna repeat this process so I'm gonna go to the opposite piece and I'm gonna add some hair and then I'm going to go under the middle strand, not over like a French braid, but under for a Dutch braid. And I'm going to continue this process. So again, I'm going to take uh, the front section of hair and I am going to add some hair to it. And then I'm going to go under the strand in the middle. And then I'm going to continue this process all the way down the back of my head. You don't want your hair to be slightly damp at this time, guys. Um, damp enough that it's going to be able to um, hold the curls, but dry enough that it's going to be able to, um, you know, dry overnight and not still be wet in the morning. Um, so right now I'm at the, the bottom of my head. So once you run out of hair to collect, just continue your braid as normal all the way down the back of your head. And you're just going to continue this process all the way down as far as you can go. The farther you can go on your braid, the better, um, just because it's going to add some more curls. And yes, guys, I know my split ends were really bad here, but don't worry. I've gotten a haircut since then, and it looks so much better. I will definitely not wait that long next time. <laughs> um, but you're just going to continue all the way down as far as you can go. Um, my hair is not layered, so I could go pretty far with this, but some of you might run out of hair pretty early early on so that's totally okay and then I secured it with an elastic you can also use like the kind that does not leave the crimp in your hair um, or just a regular hair tie if that's all you have but I would definitely recommend trying to stick with the elastic or the other one otherwise it's gonna leave a big crimp in your hair and then I'm just gonna repeat this process with the other side so I'm gonna do another Dutch braid heading towards the back of my head so again I'm splitting my hair into three sections and then I'm folding each braid or each strand of my hair underneath the one in the middle so I'm gonna start with the piece in the front I'm gonna fold it underneath the piece in the middle and then I'm gonna go to the next piece add some hair fold it underneath the piece in the middle and then I'm just gonna continue this process all the way down to the back of my head And then guys, once you have finished both sides of your hair, you should end up with two beautiful Dutch braids and you're ready to go to bed. And the next morning when you wake up, your elastic may fall out, but that's totally okay. Um, your braid will probably be strong enough to keep it together. Um, so now I'm just gonna start to unravel my braids and you are gonna wanna repeat this process on both sides until all of your hair is out of those braids. I apologize guys that it's a little bit blurry this is really early in the morning and I did not have my personal photographer with me so I just had to make it work with what I had <laughs> And once you finish, you're gonna have some pretty tight curls. So I usually just shake out my hair and get those curls a little bit looser. So that's what I'm doing right here. And then once you come back up, you'll start to see that you have some beautiful mermaid curls ready to go. So I'm just kind of placing them where I like on my head, making sure my part is good to go. I'm shaking it out a little bit more and there they are. So I love these curls. They are good for so many looks. I love it when I want the curly hair look, but I'm not gonna have time to curl my hair in the morning. And then I also 
also sometimes just take a piece and hold it back with bobby pins. I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you next week. Bye!